Hello, Tom Cosm here. Today I'm going to show you the first of several Max for Life patches that I plan on putting out in a toolkit. So these are kind of utilities that help your workflow, um, speed up your workflow when you're working and producing. Um, this is my first one, so it's quite simple. I've had a lot of fun making it and getting my head around Max for Live. If you're unfamiliar with Max for Live, it comes with Ableton Live 9 Suite, and it's it's a kind of a, a language or a coding language that you can use to create your own devices, your own effects, instruments, uh, synthesizers, anything you can really dream of. It talks really flawlessly with Ableton Live 9 and has a lot of potential. Um, so I've started building things which I, I, I think would um, really help speed things up. Now this one's called the sample layer. It's very simple. Um, you'll notice I have a drum rack over here, and this is 128 snare hits in it. So I've, I've, I've filled up all the slots with snare hits. What this sample layer does is it goes before it, so it's a MIDI effect. And it takes any MIDI notes that are coming in and overrides them. So it splits it into six individual notes. And um, so as we can see, we have six individual slots here. And depending on where this note value is, it will, it will play that note to the drum rack. So it's a way of layering up um, things like snares, claps, hi-hats, basses if you want. You can put all kinds of things onto this. Um, so it's very simple. We've got an on-off here. We've got a note, so this selects our note. Like so. Um, you'll also notice we have a random, so this will randomize everything. This simply tr triggers it. On note we have random, so we can just randomize the note. We have uh, next, which will just move up in increments, so you can go through your samples. Previous will go uh, down through your samples. Delay gives it a delay time in milliseconds, so the sample gets triggered slightly after or before any of the other ones. We can randomize this too. We have length, which is just this, the note length basically, and we can randomize the note length. We've also got velocity, um, which in this case in the drum rack it's connected to the volume of the sample. So this is good if you want to change the levels of the samples that are being played, and we can randomize this too. So there's six of those pretty much, and also we can do random all. We can do reset all. And there's a little help file that um, explains pretty much what I'm telling you now if you get stuck. So how is this cool? Well, uh, I'm just going to turn one of these on and bring the delay down, length, just leave it on that and leave the velocity at full and let's just play this with a kick. So it's just playing this first snare drum here. Now let's bring in the second one. Okay, and let's change the note. So now it's playing two snares. Let's just pick random here. Turn them all on. Randomize them all. That's the delay. Randomize the note. Let's just go random all for fun. I've got a reverb over here, I'll turn that off so you can hear it better. Now you hear, when you turn the delay on, of course, the snare starts sounding out of time um, with the beat. But you can fix that by going, um, just going into your MIDI clip and bringing the note back. Now why would you do this? It's because some, uh, uh, it's a really cool sound to get snare drums, a bunch of layered snare drums, with some of them before the actual snap of the snare hits, so it kind of, it's almost like a sucking effect. So if I go in here, uh, let's just put the velocity of all of these up for now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's bring the delay down on all of them. Down, 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 down. So now we can have, we can bring the delay time of each one slightly later. Like so. So we should get So now let's play this MIDI clip where, where the um, MIDI note is a little bit before the beat. Not bad. Let's change the velocity. So the ones that are starting are quite uh, uh, much quieter. The ones that are just before the real snap. And the velocity slowly comes up until this guy here plays the um, main snare. Bring the delay a bit back. Let's change a different note. We can randomize all these notes again. Put that reverb back on. So you can hear that kind of sucking effect. 
Now I do this, I use this technique quite a lot when I'm um, writing my tunes and this way it's just made it a lot faster for me because I used to have to go in and edit all the notes and I'd have all these different drum samples layered and now it's a lot easier for me to do it this way. Uh, <laughs> So there you go. Very, very simple. Um, and I'll be putting out a whole bunch of these. So there's going to be a whole toolkit. They're not meant to be massive things. They're just meant to be fun little things to help you speed up your particular workflow. And this is available for pro members, of course, for download straight away right now. Cheers, TomCosm.com.